Induction motors are widely used in industries. They can either be switched on and off through push buttons in a local control panel or they can be controlled through operator stations HMI like this one. In this video, I will take you through the process of making logic and HMI for the local and remote operation of an induction motor. Let me demonstrate. If I select this one, well, that means the local mode. The local mode operation of the motor is active now and if push button local start is pushed momentarily, the motor would start operating, provided all the necessary signals are available. If I change the mode to the remote and press the start button, well, a command is issued to the motor and the motor will start operating. The run feedback, if comes from the MCC, well, the motor will continue to operate. If I press this stop push button, well, the motor is stopped. In case the remote mode has been selected, the local start push button would be deactivated. Right? Even if its local start signal comes to the PLC DI card, well, there is no impact in the motor operation. Vice versa, if the local mode is selected and if I press start or stop push button, there is no impact on the motor operation. So in this video, I will show you how to make logic in HMI for the local in remote operation of an induction motor. So let me cancel the WinCC now and start building the and start developing the HMI and making the logic in first place from scratch. So let me deactivate the project. I will make a new project in the semantic manager as well. Open the semantic manager, create a new project, and uh, I will name it as motor operation. I'll be using an S7300 PLC, so insert a semantic S7300 station, go to the hardware configuration. First, I will add a rake to accommodate the CPU of a 7300 PLC and DIDO card. I'll be using 3152DP PLC CPU. From the system modules, I would insert a DI card. Well, I am using a 32 input channel card. You can use anyone. and a 32 channel DO card as well, E24 volt. First, I will symbolize the DI signals. Well, let me reiterate that well there are some basic signals required for for the operation of uh, an induction motor for example electrical readiness signal that comes from the mcc the run feedback overload local start push button signal local stop push button and obviously the digital output command that would be issued from the PLC to the MCC. So I'll symbolize all these signals. Motor readiness signal.
motor run run feedback motor overload well the emergency push button can be interfaced with the overload uh, well the emergency push button can be put in series with the overload relay right so the combined signal would come from both uh, equipments local start push button I think the necessary DI signals are complete. Now I will add motor command signal. I will save the project. I will compile it. Well, apart from these hardware signals, that, is, that were some signals in digital input card and some in a digital output card signal. Well, apart from these hardware signals, I would like to add some memory signals to my logic. I'll put the entire logic in the OB1. In the symbol table, apart from these hardware signals, I will add few memory bits to show the status of the remote and local mode of motor operation. Local slash remote m 1.0 if m 1.0 is low that would mean local mode and if it is one that would be remote mode of motor operation hmi start there is in 1.1 and HMI stop there is in 1.2 whenever the button on HMI is pressed this M1.1 would be set and then ultimately I will use this in logic so these memory bits have to be used in logic this is why I added into the symbol table right from the beginning right save all these symbols I will cancel it now I will start developing the logic for the local operation of the motor Well, the first necessary signal is I0.0. .0. That is, the motor must be electrically ready, right? Next, I will look for the mode of the motor operation, whether it is on local mode or remote mode. If the remote if, if the motor is intended to be operated in remote mode and the selection has been made by the operator on the HMI as I showed you in the beginning then the motor cannot be operated locally so I have to add this condition beforehand next one the push button I 0.3 is a start push button right 
overload signal overload signal is normally high this is why i have to i have to use the open contact if it gets low well this logic has to be opened this network has to be opened and the motor would stop operating the command would be withdrawn from the motor i 0.4 there is a local stop push button i will use it as an nc contact these push buttons are momentar are momentarily sending signals to the plcdi car right you must keep in mind and i will save the status of all these signals into the m2.0 memory bit whenever the motor is electrically ready from the mcc and there is no overload plus the mode of the motor operation is local then if i press the start push button from the local control panel well m2.0 would be set high but since this is uh, a momentary push button then i will latch the m2.0 status in parallel with i0.3 now this will be latched unless there is no overload or local push button has been pressed or electrical readiness signals uh, signal gets vanished i will add another network use m2.0 Q4.0 is the address of the DO channel that is interfaced with the MCC that is it issues command to the MCC now the logic is somehow completed but I didn't incorporate the run signal from the MCC which I have to do so for that I will add another network it takes some time for the run feedback to come on the di card of the plc because the the, the process is when the motor is ready from the mcc the local start push button is pressed a command would be issued to the motor the contactor would be short right and then the run feedback would come from the mcc so i have to for some delay feedback time delay to consider the run feedback signal let me show you well i'll make logic for that q4.0 whenever command is issued after the issuance of command a timer i will name it as t1 and the feedback time i will add five seconds well after the after the five second delay of the issuance of command it will look for the run feedback signals i will add an NC contact the run feedback signal is at the address i0.1 m10.0 let me explain this logic what happens when the command to the motor is issued after five seconds it will look for the run feedback signal whether it has been set or not and even after the issuance of command and five seconds delay even then if the feedback signal the run signal is zero this 10.0 would be set high and i will add this signal as an nc contact in the main network
and 10.0. In that case, the command would be withdrawn from the motor. Hope you understand. Let me reiterate it. Well, the motor is electrically ready. The mode is local. Start push button is pressed. There is no overload, right? And M10.0 is zero initially. So this logic would be, this network would be okay. M2.0 would be high and a command would be issued to the motor. Once command is issued to the motor, Q4.0 is high. After five seconds, this timer would be on and it will look for the run feedback signal, whether it has come or not. And even after five seconds of the command issuance, I0.1 has zero signal. That means no run signal has come from the MCC and M10.0 would ultimately would be set high. Once M10.0 is set high, this would be opened, M2.0 would be set zero, and the command from the motor would be withdrawn. That is an alarm situation, right? After the issuance of command, after some delay, five seconds in this case, the run feedback signal has to come on the DI channel of the PLC DI card. Pretty simple, I think. So the logic for the local operation of the motor has been completed. I will demonstrate the working through the simulator. So let me download the project to the PLC simulator. Start observing the logic. Well, the motor is not electrically ready. So if you have a physical PLC, you can send the signal from the MCC, but uh, I will use a simulator in this case. I am uh, 0.0 is high. And the overload signal has to be high as well, high 0.2. Now, the logic is waiting for I0.3 push button, which is interfaced at I0.3 DIE channel whenever i press it momentarily the command is issued to the motor but the command was suddenly withdrawn because no feedback signal that is at i0.1 actually came to the PI plc di card so i have to consider that as well i will start the and then i will set this i0.1 high to send a high signal, a high run signal to the PLC DI card. So the command is sustained now and uh, the motor has started to operate. Well, if I click, if I set the I0.4 is low, as high for a while, the command would be drawn because there is a local stop push button. So everything has worked fine. This is the logic for the local operation of an induction motor. In the next video, I will make logic for the remote operation of the induction motor. And ultimately, I will make the HMI as I show you, as I have shown you in the beginning of the video, and I will complete the project. So see you in the next video. Stay tuned.